Hi, welcome back to Electron Machine. Today we are going to talk about one of our instruments, the DSA Dissolved Solids Analyzer. This is a bench top unit used for testing various chemicals or solutions. Today we're going to test black liquor solids like we're in a recovery boiler operation room. So we've got the unit powered on and we, in the ideal world you would power this unit up and then you would go out to your recovery boiler or your evaporators and you would pull some samples because the sample chamber here is heated. That way you can put black liquor solids directly onto the instrument. All right, so it should come up with question marks and you wanna check the system with a water calibration. So we put some sample of water on there and we're gonna confirm that this thing reads water, which you would expect to see Basically, that right there, zero. So after you've taken a water sample and confirmed that the unit is reading correctly on water, your next step is to use your black liquor samples. So you first need to clean the water off. Simple paper towels or toilet paper. You wanna make sure it's nice and clean, there's no extra waters on there. Then you're gonna take your black liquor. We have two different varieties today. I believe this is a weak liquor sample. So you wanna squirt it in there and you give it a little stir and close the lid. And then you push the read and we have a self built in uh, delay and this is gonna give you a stable reading. And this is a 15.78 sample. I would expect that from a weak liquor. So now we're going to clean the sample off and we'll show you how to clean it off. You basically repeat the process with the uh, paper, toilet paper and you just wipe it off. You clean it with water and you want to make sure you wipe around the, uh, the edges pretty good right there to ensure that there's no black liquor left in the edge. And now we'll test the, the heavy liquor. Basically follow the same process. It doesn't take much, you just want enough to clear to cover the lens and you give it a good little stir once you get it on there. And this can be done with hot liquor. You hit the read again and you wait your 10 seconds. And this shampoo should come up somewhere around a 55. 56.7. Just to show you how this is repeatable, we're going to clean it off again and we'll run back through the same exact samples to prove that they are repeatable, it's very accurate, and works the same. So, uh, with the heavy black liquor, you do the same thing. You use paper towels, clean, paper towels, toilet paper to clean it off. And you can see that there's some discoloration, that means there's still liquor on there. We want to make sure that is all removed. And 56.69 within the margin. And it doesn't matter who puts the sample on, it will still be the same. So we're gonna clean that off and we'll go to the weak liquor here. And that was a, a, a 15. So again, you can see there's still some residual left. We wanna make sure it's all nice and clean. You can always verify that you got it completely clean by putting a water sample back on there and it should read back at zero. And before we put the 15 on, we'll do that. We'll read water again. Yep. And 
as you can see, we're back at the water. So, unit still reading good. Now we'll switch back to the weak liquor just to show you that it will be repeatable as well. And we're back at the same 15% sample that we had before. So the DSA is a great little tool to have in your toolbox. It provides accurate readings and it re provides repeatable readings. Doesn't matter who's using it. The unit doesn't lose its calibration as long as someone doesn't throw it down the staircase. The sample chamber's heated so you can put black liquor samples directly from your recovery boiler or your evaporators on there. And you would clean it off and it'll be ready for the next time you use it 